Your liver might be my favorite organ in your body. Well, not your liver. I'm not a cannibal, but your in the general, you get what I mean. Anyway, the liver is a remarkable organ, and it just so happens that there are some unique effects of fasting on liver autophagy. I say that based on a scientific review that illustrates some of the effects fasting-induced autophagy has on liver health. So, why don't we take a peek? Autophagy is known for its cellular cleanup, but for the liver, that definition takes on further meaning because autophagy in the liver doesn't seem to just increase the ability for the hepatocytes, those are liver cells, to eliminate damaged and non-functional proteins. But it also helps in a series of other critical functions like glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis. These two metabolic processes are imperative for your survival when fasting because it allows the liver to kick sugar into the blood and autophagy supplements molecules to undergo the conversion to sugar. But not only that, autophagy also protects against fatty liver disease, viral diseases like hepatitis, and even liver cancers. For example, autophagy is implicated in a type of autophagy known as lipophagy, wherein fat droplets found in fatty liver cells are degraded through autophagy to protect the cell from an overaccumulation of these droplets, called lipid droplets. So, does fasting then offer these benefits? Why, yes, it does seem to do that. Fasting robustly increases autophagy in the liver at an astounding rate, actually maximizing the amount of autophagy that occurs. Yet, something peculiar happens in liver cells as well. You remember when I mentioned that autophagy is critical for cellular cleanup? Well, that also extends to larger components like organelles, like mitochondria. It seems that fasting enhances the amount of mitophagy, which is a particular type of autophagy wherein the autophagy machinery, the autophagosome, consumes mitochondria and destroys them. But here's the kicker. Mitochondria number increase from fasting. So on one hand, fasting increases mitophagy in the liver, yet in another, there are more mitochondria. I was never a stellar student in algebra, but I feel pretty confident that this doesn't add up. So what's going on here? First, fasting increases mitophagy in the liver cells to eliminate dysfunctional mitochondria. As mitochondria become older, they accrue damage from their use and are often isolated from the more functional mitochondria. Unfortunately, there's no retirement home for mitochondria. They get gobbled up and recycled through mitophagy. Second, however, what also happens is that mitochondrial number are increased because mitochondrial biogenesis or the production of new functional mitochondria is elevated. So fasting eliminates more of the quote unquote bad mitochondria and replaces them with even more of the quote unquote good mitochondria. This is called mitochondrial turnover. Ultimately, the production must outpace the loss of mitochondria. Otherwise, we wouldn't see this increase in mitochondrial number. No doubt, fasting has numerous autophagy effects, but also affects independent of fasting on the liver. But what of other tissues like the muscles, the heart, and the brain, and the rest? What happens when we fast in these tissues? Let's find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. I mean, the next video. Speak to you there.